Hello Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your daily love read for Tuesday, January 15th. I cannot believe we're halfway through the month already. It just does not seem possible. All right. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the backside of the fool. Can be acting irrationally, um, not thinking things through taking that leap of faith to the extreme. Um, it's being clarified by the chariot in reverse and the nine of swords and the five of pentacles. But I'm not going to take that one because we don't really need it because we see where this one's going, right? Okay, so um, foolishly giving up a new beginning. Foolishly not taking that leap of faith. Foolishly being stuck. The backside of the chariot is like erratic movement out of control not moving if you are moving it's you don't know where you're moving to and it is just foolishly giving up this new beginning this opportunity that you have with somebody to take that leap of faith for it to be great um, and and you're not taking it you're turning your back to this new beginning because you have uh, let your thoughts control your um, actions to the extreme you're you're in your head a lot you're very stressed out you aren't happy where you're at but you don't know how to get where you where you want to be you're letting everyone else's opinions and thoughts uh, weigh in on your decision and all it's doing is confusing you to the point of being stuck again um, and like I said foolishly letting somebody pass you by this would be an amazing connection earth signs all right, so um, yeah, I do feel that this top row earth sign is the person you are connecting with. That is what the um, way the messages are coming in. So um, somebody that you uh, somebody that wanted you to take a leap of faith with them um, because they're single. I mean, they're looking good. They have worked hard on themselves. They. It wasn't easy for them to get here, but they've done it. They they have really um, found themselves. They found their their sense of self, their self esteem. Um, everybody is drawn to them. They're just they're just doing great. They have their finances in order. They're doing very well, and they are here to offer you this ten of cups. They are here to ask you to be their partner to give them another chance or to give them a chance <clears throat> that you guys are soulmates and they know this and you know this you know what this connection is you know this person makes you happy you know you are attracted to this person because they are smart they're beautiful they're funny they're a hard worker they they're not shy with their emotions they love to love you and there is a connection between the two of you like any other <coughs> which is very confusing to everybody that you are connected with in this way to why this uh, new beginning isn't happening. Why is it um, you have your back to them and not wanting to take this leap of faith? Why is it that you have your back to them and moving away from them instead of towards them? And why is it that you're so confused about what this, what needs to happen in order to move this forward? Um, you are you are allowing um, too many people to put too many responsibilities on you for one you um, are in a situation where you just feel overburdened over stress like you have to carry the weight of the everything you have to provide you have to take care of um, everybody and you're just getting really really tired and you're about to crumble you really are the weight of this situation the weight of these decisions you are about to crumble if you don't lay this stack of wands down um, you have the backside of the night as well so charging in um, this is it with this card this isn't about necessarily swooping in with the truth with this card it is going within and finding your way home 
And I don't mean home like home like a house. Home, like where you're meant to be, who you're meant to be with, who you're meant to be around. You are closing your eyes and letting your horse take you wherever you may. It is it is the swift, quick decision to to let go of everything and find your way home again. You have uh, kind of, as you're walking up the uh, steps to the tower, which is what comes next after that card, um, after this long walk that you have been taking with this burden, you're kind of looking out over everything and trying to, um, you're trying to control the outcome too much. Um, and that's not possible. You're trying to control too much. And that's why you're feeling a lot of burden, too, because things aren't going your way. Things are not going the way you had hoped, and so you're burdened by that. <laughs> but the harder you try to control the situation, the harder you try to hold on or keep something from happening, the more out of control you're going to feel because the universe is going to step in and be like, oh, no, you can't control this. The, we control this. Um, and it's going to make you feel just out of sorts today. Yeah. Your guys' outcome is the lovers in reverse. So um, choosing somebody, choosing to be with somebody, and this is kind of finally getting to breathe after the attention was on you guys, after all eyes and ears were on you two. Um, this could have been a relationship that was, uh, like, gossiped about at one point in time. But... There is a strong need and feel and desire to nurture this relationship that you are deciding to go home to, this Ten of Cups relationship. Um, yeah, there's a lot of nurturing, loving energy here, but uh, it does come behind or next to the justice in reverse. Putting the sword in the ground, making a decision... Finally, you could be turning your back on your soulmate because this situation makes you feel out of control. For some of you, you have chosen not what lights you up inside, but what people think you should have chose. Um, somebody who has your children um, or, or you have their children, somebody that... Uh, you have been in a relationship with you are um, deciding not to get divorced and for some of you you are cho choosing the relationship that was done in the dark and deciding to um, invest in yourself to nurture yourself and to walk away from um, somebody who is very controlling but no matter what, you're finding your way home eventually. That's important for for some reason. You need to um you need to find a way out of this energy, however, because this is going to just lead to depression and sadness, and you need to lay this down. But I do feel for today at least, your this person's remaining single. You're passing up the ten of cups with this soulmate. Um to continue to nurture a broken marriage. Uh, you're going to continue to carry this burden to um, turn your back on the world that you could have in your hand and going to continue to, yeah, to try to fix this broken marriage. But the, the marriage has been broken. You see the sword in the ground? The truth has been told. The sword cannot be pulled back up. So... This marriage cannot be fixed. I do apologize for being like the harsh news, but it's not, it, it can't come back into balance because it's part of your karma. You have to learn the karmic lesson. You have to learn to have, uh, to follow your heart, to lay everybody else's responsibilities down, to focus on where your home is, and to uh, prepare yourself to uh, have your seat as an emperor 
because you are um you are in the midst of your soulmate your ten of cups love this person looks amazing and you're being foolish for not moving forward with them because your thoughts are in the way so that's all i got for you guys uh earth signs uh kind of a heavy energy this for today but um it doesn't have to be you have so many good cards here but they're all all the good cards are in the reverse pointing to that you're going to just stay where you're currently at and be stuck and and not move forward towards this ten of cups nine of pentacles person so really think about um your decisions right now with the with the eclipse and the new moon, or the full moon coming because uh, your opportunity to make that choice may not be there much longer. Uh, the person that is waiting on you will probably move forward if you don't open up and uh, connect with them soon. So make sure you are choosing the choice that is best for you. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow. God bless.